Hello, and welcome to my weekly take on what's going on. And I can almost hear you saying, what, what's going on up there? When is it all going to stop? Well, what I will say is, and if I think about it for a while, ever since about mid-June, uh, we've had a series of kind of um, alignments that have been very high pressure, pressurized. And we're coming to the end of that sequence. And so I would say we're going to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel from this point. So one of the things that has been happening is that the personal planets, that's the Sun, and on through Mercury, Venus, uh, Mars, they're all fairly close together, and they're all at the opposite point in the zodiac to Saturn and Pluto, which are two very demanding planets. They're perhaps things that we find most difficult of all to kind of appreciate and work with in life. So as soon as, uh, let's say, Mercury has been at the opposite point to Saturn and Pluto, along comes Mars and the Sun, and now this week we're heading into Venus. But this is the last of that series. And of course, this week we also have um, a, a lunar eclipse, which I'll come to shortly. But I think one of the effects of having all these planets come and oppose Saturn and Pluto is that people have been in a period of kind of rolling crises. They've been through one thing on top of another. Well, if we look at uh, the, the signs of Cancer and Capricorn, first of all, because the sun is in Cancer, so have all those other planets been in Cancer. Saturn and Pluto are in Capricorn. So really, it's these two sun signs that are at the front of the queue when it comes to life-changing and life-affirming experiences, because that's what eclipses are all about, whether they're solar, lunar, partial, um, uh, you know, total, whatever, they're, they're, they're those game-changing kind of situations. And of course, if you go to my website, you go to the forecasting page, you can read how these things really affect your particular sun sign. So there are two ways of dealing with what we've got at the moment. And of course, times can be wonderful. You can be having the best of times ever. But I'm not really going to spend time discussing that because you don't need my help. You're having a great time. You're having a great time. Things are wonderful. But as those of you who are perhaps in this period of rolling crises and are shaking their heads and saying, when is it going to end? When are things going to work out? It's you who I really want to address, whatever your sun sign is. And there are basically two ways to deal with this. One is the Saturn way and one is the Pluto way. The Saturn way is to grab the nettle by the throat. It's always to deal with what you don't want to deal with, the thing that is most difficult, the decision you don't want to make, the hard decision, something that demands effort and you know is going to be painful. You deal with it, you stand up to it, you embrace it, that's Saturn's way. And once you're doing that and you're going through it, you'll be out the other side and you will have learned a valuable lesson and things can go forward from there much, much better. With Pluto, entirely different. This is the act of non-action, of not doing anything, because as yet, nothing has really completed itself. It's not your job to get in there and interfere. You have to wait until it's all fully played out. Um, one of the ways of looking at this in a very positive way is the whole action of birth. And uh, I've given birth three times, and I suppose some of you out there have done it as many times as me, if not more. So you'll know that there is a point at which, well, first of all, it's hard labor. That's why it's called labor. Lots of effort, pain, shoving and pushing. But there is a time when you can't do anything, when you have to hold absolutely still. And it's at that point that Pluto is in your life at the moment. It's the point just before the baby is born that non-action is appropriate. There's also another way of looking at what's going on at the moment, and that's the action of tectonic plates grinding together. When they do that and there are earthquakes and there's a lot of debris and dust and you can't see what's going on, but what's happening is the landscape is being changed in the process. And that means in our own lives, the landscape of one part of our life is being changed. And until it's formed, we can see what we're looking at, we won't know what to do. So ultimately, it's all good. And I know that sounds like a terrible cliche, but the reason cliches are cliches is because they're true. 
And as I said, and as I've called this little video, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully you're going to see exactly what I mean as we come to the end of this coming week. Bye for now.